Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and 343 has finally fixed Big Team Battle. There's a patch that went live like two days ago and you know I was playing BTB for a bit and it seems like it does work. I played about like 10 games in a row um, and yeah it was a great experience. I didn't encounter any issues and it seems to be fixed. And during this, I just want to talk about the patch itself, because it's not only, not only does it fix, like, BTB, and, you know, you're actually able to play it, but there's a couple of things that came alongside with the patch that I think are worth talking about. Alright, so here we are on high power, playing CTF. I joined in progress. Um, so that's pretty nice, I get to fill in for someone else who left. Ooh, we got like three guys in the cave here. What the heck? Oh, I might not survive this. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Did that guy have the grapple or something? Maybe... That was a, like a super jump. Oh yeah, he's got the grapple. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and talk about the patch. So obviously the biggest thing is that BTB actually works now, which is nice. I feel like it took a while, um, and it's unfortunate that it took that long to get fixed. But, you know, I am glad that it's fixed now. But not only did, did they uh, fix it, they actually increased the respawn time. I think it's the respawn time. They basically just made it more frequent for scorpions and wraiths to spawn. They spawn a lot more often. So instead of getting those, like, really late games where um, you get, like, the scorpion dropped off at, like, the very last 10 seconds... And you barely get to, like, use a scorpion. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a thing anymore, which is great. Whoa. Getting a bit of lag. Yeah, this server's not the best, that's for sure. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, man. Halo Infinite servers are great. So now we can see more of those vehicles. I believe it's the same thing for the Wasp and Banshees. Um, but they just mentioned scorpions and wraiths. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's for the... Not the wraiths. What am I saying? The Wasp and the uh, banshees i think it's the same for those i think those spawn more often as well I could be wrong so another little patch that they did was um or update you could say is that you could actually see your fire team now in btb because back then it was broken like if you were to party up with a few friends you would not even be on the same fire team which was really weird because you were in the same party you know so they actually did fix that now you will see your teammates be you know your teammates will be in that fire team color you'll actually be on the same fire team now they do mention that your teammates may spawn somewhere else and not like next to you but you'll still be in the same fire team regardless so that's nice so i think this new update which is the join in progress little update they did um i think it's overall for the entire experience i don't think it's just for btb um, and they fixed it so, like, when you join a game in progress, you don't join in at the very last second. Because I've actually had that happen quite a few times. Where I join a game, and it's, like, literally about to end in, a, like, a minute or so. Or they're about to, like, cap the last flag. And, you know, that's not fun at all, just getting into a game so you could get a loss. You know, that's not great at all. So, it does mention that they did fix that. I need to get this grapple. Oh, shoot, what is going on? Oh, my goodness. I mean, ambushed here. <laughs> I tried to get away, but it didn't really work out. Oh, look, there we go. See, there's a wraith. So, as you can see, we're like... Eh, I mean, I guess we're kind of near the ending, though. Because, I mean, they only need, like, one more point to score. So, it's still kind of towards the ending. But if you look at the timer, you know, we still got a lot of time left. So, it kind of dropped, like, I would say, mid-game. Because I don't know what the starting timer is at. I think it's at, like, 14 or something. So it's kind of like mid-ish, early game, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we definitely get to see a Wraith there, so that's really cool. Now another little update they did was to ranked oddball matches. They talk about like the overtime stuff, because there was like an issue with overtime and oddball. Now I honestly have stopped playing ranked, because I just don't enjoy it at all. Um, I really don't like how ranked... Holy smokes, look at all those people there. But yeah, I don't like the ranked experience. It's just not fun, you know. The ranking system is very unrewarding. I win like five games in a row and then I lose the next. And all that progress is gone and it's just not it's just not fun, you know. Because if I'm just going to be constantly stuck, you know, or even set back a bit further, I don't want to play it. Even though I'm like doing really good and I win like five games in a row. It's just not 
it's just not rewarding at all and so i just don't really play that much so they actually added a new mode as well unfortunately <laughs> it's not a matchmaking mode but it is a variant in custom games which is the hcs ffa slayer variant now i think it's kind of like yeah i guess sure that's kind of cool but i mean can't you just make that yourself anyways um i don't know so i just think you know it's nice but it's like it's just something I'm like, okay, that's cool, I guess, but I feel like people have made one themselves already anyways, but I guess it's a little nice update just to kind of make it easier to, like, you know, select your mode and stuff. So yeah, they added a HCS FFA Slayer, so that's pretty cool. And I guess there was an issue in custom games with some of the game modes where some of the options weren't available or something. Um, and so they apparently fixed that as well. I can't really say much about that because I haven't touched custom games because custom games is just completely broken as well. So I think they fixed like some of the options that were maybe like glitching out or something. I can't really say much about that. But you know, that's a nice little quality update as well. So yeah, that's about all the updates. Just like a little quality of life update that they did. A small little patch. Um, you know, it's great BTB is fixed. You know, it's the thing that I played the most in Infinite, because I enjoy this really... I enjoy just having those chaotic, huge battles, and it... BTB just, like, offers the entire sandbox, which is why I love it as well. Um, I think they have, like, every weapon and stuff on, uh, BTB and stuff. But it looks like we lost. Um, so that was not fun. <laughs> well, that was fun, but... Losing's not fun, right? <laughs> So I didn't get to use a tank or anything, which really sucks. Um, we did get to see one of my teammates have a Wraith, so it's nice seeing that, you know, it actually does spawn a lot more often. Um, so that's nice, but we didn't get to use it. It's always hard to, like, get a tank or a Wraith because literally everyone runs for it. I wish they would have, like, um, what's it called, preset spawns or whatever, where they would have the, sp the tanks or the vehicles spawn at your base. I wish they would do that. I don't like this pelican system like this pelican system is cool where it drops a vehicle down but like that should be like an extra vehicle that people fight for and I think we should have like initial vehicles like at the at our base and stuff at least like for like the beginning they don't have to like respawn but like at least having like a tank and everything at the start would be nice I think they need to like do that I think I it's really annoying because then you can't really experience like some of the vehicles because a lot of people just run for it the entire lobby <laughs> runs for the freaking thing and i guess it, it does bring a bit of tension which makes it fun but you know we could still have that tension while also still having vehicles at our base you know what i'm saying so i think they should really do that anyway so that was a patch update for february 3rd 2022 let me know what you guys think now you could finally play BTB. Have you encountered any issues? Um, have you gotten a tank? Because I still find it rare to get into one. Um, but, you know, let me know what you think about the update. I wish we could get, like, new maps and stuff. But, you know, this is kind of a nice little update just to, like, fix the game up. That being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and liking the video. Shows your support. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.